Hey everyone, it's Stephanie with TheAndrewsHustle.com. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about meal planning and how I meal plan, how I keep it simple while meal planning and provide a dinner for my family most of the time. Um, if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button for notifications when we come out with new videos and give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. Okay guys, I'm super excited to share with you my tips today of meal planning and how I meal plan. Um, I guess if you're new to meal planning or if you don't meal plan, it's something that I highly encourage that everyone at least try to do for their family, especially if you're super busy. I know being a mom and living in a house full of people and everyone having different schedules, it's extremely difficult to get dinner on the table in a timely fashion and make it something to cater to everyone's needs. Um, not to mention, <laughs> I have to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner because right now all my kids are home, I'm home, my husband stays home, and my father works from home and we live with my parents. So there's people here all the time who require sustenance and they need breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we're doing a lot of cooking here, a lot of cooking and a lot of grocery shopping. Now, if you've seen other sites before, the reason I'm doing my own meal planning video is because I find it really hard to relate to other people's uh, meal planning ideas. I am a somewhat organized person, but I am not super organized. Um, so it's hard for me to actually sit down and print out a huge notebook and plan my meals Sunday through Monday for a whole month. I've tried that before. It doesn't really work for me. Um, I usually don't end up sticking to it 100% all the time. So I wanted to share with you how I decided that I would start meal prepping and some ideas of freezer meals that I'm going to do this week, which I will record a video later on about the freezer meals. I plan on shopping for everything and then putting them together with you guys and showing you all the freezer meals that I'm gonna stuff in our freezer for later dinners. Okay, so my first tip for meal planning is to find a program or a way of tracking your meals that you like and you will do. So for me, because I always have my phone on hand and I like to keep things super simple, I'm gonna show you that I just use the, and I have an, an iPhone. But I use the notes on the Apple iPhone to track my meal planning. So this list right here is the freezer meals that I have planned to cook this week. Um, I have about 15 different meals and also some breakfast and some lunch uh, ideas. But the reason I like this is because they have these little check bubbles here. And so instead of putting, oh, okay, I'm gonna have Hawaiian meatballs on Sunday, I just have Hawaiian meatballs on my list. So once I am getting ready to actually purchase the ingredients, I'll say, okay, Hawaiian meatballs, what do I need for that? And then I'll put Hawaiian meatballs ingredients in my grocery order, probably for Walmart pickup, because that's usually what I use. And then once I have all the ingredients, I can come in and, oh, look, I can check it off and say that I have all the ingredients for Hawaiian meatballs. And after I purchase the ingredients, especially if there's something that I can't get, like say I can't get steak for the slow cooker pepper steak that I had planned, then I can go in and just delete that whole line and not have to worry about it. So I can check off everything once I have my ingredients and I know everything's in my house. And then I can also check them off as I use them so I don't forget that they're in the freezer. Have you ever maybe doubled up on a portion and said, I'm gonna freeze this half of soup and then all of a sudden it's in the pantry or in the pantry hopefully it's not in the pantry for six months but it's in the freezer for six months and you've forgotten about it yeah same okay so i just wanted to show you guys this again in case you couldn't see it very well i'm going to interject here so when i was talking about the notes app on the iphone this is the freezer meals list that i have running right now so when I get ready to order everything or go shopping through Walmart um, pickup, I'll probably come in here and say, okay, what do I need for Hawaiian meatballs? And then once I add those ingredients and make sure I have everything for that meal, I'll come in here and check it off. Um, I'll do the same with lasagna until I have all of these things checked off with the ingredients. And then I can come back and uncheck them until the day that we eat them. And I can either check them off and say, okay, we've eaten this today, or I could just erase it. 
erase the whole line which I'm not going to do in front of you because I don't want to forget that I have it in there and then screw it up for myself later but you get the idea this is a really easy way to tally up things that you want in your um, meal plan list and also you can change or add to it at any time you it's not like a paper and pen where you have to scratch things out or rotate it so that's another really good thing about this just notes app on the iPhone is you can keep a running tally of what you have in your pantry and update it um, I haven't done that yet. I know people who do that, and I think that I will probably start doing that, um, you know, once I kind of get an idea of what everything that's in our pantry, but because there are so many people living here, oftentimes we go to the store and people bring things home, and we end up having a lot of extras of stuff. So, like I said, having something that works for you, something that you can manage and organize to your liking is super important when it comes to successful meal planning. Which brings me to my second tip is use what's in your pantry. I know how hard it is to do, but having this app is another good way to keep a running list of what you have in your pantry. And I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't done that yet, but I plan on doing it very soon. And I hope that you'll do it with me so we can check it out and see if it works. I'd love to do an experiment like that and hear your feedback. But um, if you cook from what you have in your pantry and you use up the things that you have in your pantry, you'll find that you're going to be going through things a lot quicker, which means less waste, less things that you forget about, less things that are expired or that just don't taste good anymore because let's be honest, nobody likes to throw out food. I know I don't. And like I said, I don't actually have running tally on my phone of what I use in my pantry, but I do have a really good idea of what's in my pantry because I'm usually the one purchasing um, things from the store. And then my mom will grab some things from the store sometimes too, but I'm here all day, every day cooking three meals a day. So I have a really good idea of what's in my pantry and I try to use those items. I try to cook and focus on what's in my pantry so that I don't keep things for too long in my pantry. Tip number three, meal planning is the perfect time to try new recipes, but also you don't have to. Part of successful meal planning is kind of having a grasp of everything that your family will eat and planning it out to make it more convenient for you as you're probably, if you're watching this video, the predominant cooker of the family. So meal planning is really a way to make your life and my life easier by making sure that we have everything prepared to serve dinner to our families over the next few weeks. So while it is a great idea to add in some new recipes that you want to try, maybe talk to your family and set up a meeting with your kids and hey, just ask them, would you guys be interested in trying salmon tacos? And if your kids are like mine, they're going to say no. <laughs> but it would be a good idea to know if they would be interested in trying something before you put it in your meal plan and waste your time and your energy and your efforts. Just Keep it simple when it comes to meal planning and you'll be doing it just fine. Okay, tip number four, it's best when you're meal planning to keep it as simple as possible. Um, with some of the recipes that I'm doing for freezer meals, some of them you'll see that I do cook and some of them I don't. It's okay to take raw frozen chicken breasts and put it in a Ziploc bag with other ingredients as long as you're going to cook all of them thoroughly up to temp. So normally what I'll do is if I am doing buffalo chicken sandwiches, I'll take a packet of ranch dressing, maybe some peppers and some raw chicken breasts and buffalo sauce, put it all together in a freezer bag and then I'll just stick that whole free freezer bag in the freezer. Along with keeping your meals simple or keeping your ingredients simple, just keep your meal plan simple. You don't have to rotate all kinds of crazy recipes every week. Um, if a roast chicken isn't really your forte, then don't put a roast chicken in your meal plan every week. Um, you just really, the simpler it is for you, the more successful your, or the simpler it is for you, the more successful your meal planning is going to be. So don't forget tip number four. I think it's the most important one is just keep it simple. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't hit the thumbs up button and you liked the video, go ahead and hit it now. Click subscribe for more videos when we come up in the future. Um, I would love to hear what you guys do for your meal planning. Leave those answers down in the comments below. Let me know if there's anything or any questions that you have and I'd be happy to answer them. Um, I look forward to making these freezer meals with you guys and I hope you will be there to check out that video as well. Until next time guys, keep up the hustle.